Ukraine's successful counteroffensive is dividing Russia's own military leaders. Sources tell CNN Russians are split on how to respond to Ukraine's unexpected advances on the battlefield as Moscow finds itself on the defensive now in both the Northeast, the East, and the South. The Kremlin is cracking down on public dissent. President Vladimir Putin's plan to mobilize some 300,000 new troops, more than 1,300 anti-war protesters have now been detained across Russia, some of them brought directly to be conscripted into the military. Joining me now is Nadia Tolokonikova. She's a Russian activist, co-founder of the feminist protest art collective known as Pussy Riot. She spent nearly two years herself in Russian detention, beginning in 2012, simply for performing an anti-Putin protest song. Nadia, it's so good to have you on today. Good to be here. Thank you so much for having me. First, I want to ask you about the protests that we are seeing now. I think that we in the West, we, we often pay a great deal of attention to these things, even when they're relatively limited, because we're aware of the challenges and the dangers, and you face this yourself, of standing up to the Russian government. Are these latest protests, in your view, different? And do they show that Putin's power, his grip, is perhaps less strong than we knew? Mm. Well, as someone who spent two years in jail myself, had mm. um, my family members been um, poisoned with nerve agents, mm. I greatly know the price of protesting in Putin's Russia. And this price is growing day by day, with Putin getting more and more uncomfortable um, about his position in um, on the geopolitical arena. Um, and with the latest achievements um, of Ukraine, um, he feels increasingly uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Another important um, thing happened uh, just now. One of the biggest Russian artists, uh, pop star Alla Pugachova, who is loved by many generations, my grandmother, my mother and me, um, all, of, all of us were listening to uh, Alla Pugachova and still listening to her. Um, she condemned the war in Ukraine yeah. and um, the regime that started this war. Uh, and she asked to um, proclaim her um, a so-called foreign agent. Um, wow. This is the common name for people who criticize Vladimir Putin. I'm an official foreign agent myself, and it has mm. um, consequences for you, legal consequences. Mm. Um, and that was, um, Ala Pugachova's uh, statement was a symptom of something bigger of a growing discontent of Russian people with the war in Ukraine, because it's not obvious for Russian people what is this war yeah. about and how Russian people are benefiting from this war. You had a meeting with the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, uh, recently, and I understand that you've already heard a reaction from Russia to that meeting, and there's the picture. Um, it was pretty incredible to see uh, Maria Zakharova, who is uh, the press secretary of Sergei Lavrov, um, the Minister of Foreign Affairs in Russia, who is in New York today. Um, she wrote a statement about my meeting with uh, Secretary Blinken. She said that the um, Secretary of State um, of the United States made its decision and um, they made its decision with whom they're going to be discussing the future of Russia, and that's going to be Pussy Red. And for her, it's funny, but um, I believe it's the right choice because it's me and my colleagues who are going to be uh, working on improving the image of Russia and mm. reassuring the world, and especially Ukraine, that, yeah. that they can trust us. Mm. I, I've been to Russia myself, and, and I've often been uh, impressed by, by the warm welcome, f far different from how the government behaves. I, I do want to ask you, do you have hope that, that Putin's grip on power can be broken, that, that, that the people who oppose him can have real power and, 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 a, and affect real change in Russia? Um, people who oppose Putin, they have real power, and that's the reason of um, Putin's repressions on us. Mm. We're building alternative Russia with um, values that are different from Putin's values. We want to be a part of the uh, Western civilization. We are standing for peace, for democracy, for uh, freedom of speech, for creative freedoms. And um, we, we are part of a different Russia. We are grandkids of people 
who gave the world um, beautiful art of um, the beginning of 20th century, the avant-garde movement, and I believe that there is a different alternative Russia. And um, Putin tries to suppress us, and he is mm -hmm. pretty effective at that because he is a KGB agent and he has yeah. the police and army. Uh, but yeah. um, I believe that we're we're going to be able to um, break through. The uh, Brittany Griner, of course, one, one of two Americans, continues to be held in Russia, and you've been very public uh, about her case, standing with her as well. And, and by the way, you have served, and there you are wearing a T-shirt, Free Brittany Griner. You served time at a penal colony. That is where she is spending time right now. What do you think the present is like for her, what she's going through, and, and what do you think her future will be? Do you think she'll be released? I really hope that America will stand for her, and I really hope that she's going to be exchanged. Um, she definitely needs to get out of Russian prison as soon as possible, because um, Russian prison is a h horrible place. Um, mm. It um, doesn't, uh, it lacks medication, it lacks basic, um, basic conditions, uh, living conditions in Russian jail are really like, surprisingly close to those that are described in books uh, about Gulag by Solzhenitsyn or Shalamov. And it's, it's a really scary place. Um, and yeah. especially for a person who doesn't speak Russian language and she doesn't um, know how to stand up because she doesn't speak Russian language, she doesn't know how to read the law. So it means mm -hmm. that basically um, the guards can do whatever they want with her and she cannot mm -hmm. stand up for herself. And yeah. unfortunately, no one in Russian prison speaks English, so um, she has to mm -hmm. get out as soon as possible. Goodness. Well, we, we do wish her the best and we appreciate the, the courageous work you have done uh, as well. Uh, thank you for, for joining us today, Nadia Tolokolnikova. Thank you so much for having me.